Have you ever read a story that was both true and creatively written? A story where the writer took something mundane, perhaps a walk on the beach or an outing with friends, and, with just a pen and their personality, dazzled you with a story. Creative nonfiction is a genre that reminds us that there are few things as edifying as a well-told story. English novelist Philip Pullman says, quote, After nourishment, shelter, and companionship, stories are the thing we need most in the world, end quote. Telling stories well, or at least in a creative nonfiction way, requires, of course, creativity. Creativity in structure, creativity in tone, creativity in diction. Perhaps you could start a story in the middle of a fight scene. Quote, that's when his fist connected with my jaw, sending me into a seven-foot Christmas tree, end quote. Or maybe you could write about your trip to the zoo by using anaphora. Quote, I see a lion. I see a bear. I see a kangaroo. I see a koala. I see a monkey. I see Uncle Jim, said my four-year-old nephew, Mike. Creative nonfiction relies on one element, surprise. There's no rubric or precise method that teaches a writer the art of surprise. For this predictability or protocol would surely destroy creativity and kill the surprise. A good way to approach writing creative nonfiction is to pretend you are telling a story to your friends, a story you are dying to tell them. You can't wait to see your friends, in fact, because they are never going to believe what happened yesterday. Think about how animated you would be telling the story. Your enthusiasm would permeate every quote and every twist in the plot. Then take this pizzazz and energy and marry it with sound writing. It's that simple. Here is the opening paragraph of a piece of creative nonfiction written by David Sedaris. On the flight to Raleigh, I sneezed, and the cough drop I'd been sucking on shot from my mouth, ricocheted off my folded tray table, and landed, as I remember it, in the lap of the woman beside me, who was asleep and had her arms folded across her chest. I'm surprised that the force didn't wake her. That's how hard it hit. But all she did was flutter her eyelids and let out a tiny sigh, the kind you might hear from a baby. In this example, Sedaris retells a funny situation, perhaps one you would tell your friends, but he does it with sound writing. Now that you know more about creative nonfiction, it is your turn to write. Don't rush things. Creativity takes time. The purpose of this activity is to develop your writing and experiment with language, and of course, to tell a memorable story. Great writers have a unique way of seeing the world. This is what you want to develop. Your story does not need to be funny or tell a lesson, though these things are helpful. There is no rubric for this assignment. Just experiment, 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 and write, write, write. Think of a story and get lost in the storytelling process.